What an amazing Sunday has been. It's your boy Chep with Dope God Pretty. Thank you folks for your time and your patience. Um, this is a failed print. This is a perfectly leveled bed. Um, but why does it look that way? Well, what's been happening to me, which a lot of you folks have also experienced is my stepper motor would get really, really warm. That heat would then transfer to the extruder and if you're printing slow, like myself, sometimes I will print at, say, uh, 45 millimeters a second on the exterior wall and on the interior wall. So that way my print looks as neat as possible. Well, with that being said, that meant that the PLA was going through the extruder arm. And this is about, I don't know, 10 to 15 millimeters. This is then becoming a heated chamber. The PLA is going in there, getting really warm, hitting the extruder gear. The extruder gear is like, yo, this is really warm or really soft, I should say. And is having a tough time gripping it and sending it through the Bowden tube. Now, it gets really hot here. And as it goes through the rest, oh, this is still warm, up to about here, just to show you folks. It's my fault. Look at that. Up to about here, it's really warm. So that means that that PLA, once it enters that chamber, has a larger chance of remaining warm. And then once it hits the Bowden tube, it cools off. So really warm, palatable, movable. And then by the time it gets here, it cools off and it's already deformed. So that means that it has a rough time going through the Bowden tube and coming out and you can hear it. Like the PLA, literally you can hear it going through the Bowden tube. So what's the solution? All through our YouTube, I'm gonna do it myself because I've never done it before. I'm gonna learn how to do what's called a V-Ref. That's where you calibrate how many amps, milliamps, volts, are going to the stepper motor if you lower it okay you're still gonna have to do calibrations you're still gonna have to do test prints because you're gonna have to find your happy medium where the motor is not getting hot and you're still able to print so yes it's gonna take some tuning it's gonna take some patience but if I can do it folks you can do it um, one thing to also get is a digital multimeter I got that at Harbor Freight for, I believe, $6.99. I'll post all my pictures on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, so you guys can see it there. They have this analog caliper for $1.99. They had a digital one for $19.99. That's actually a good deal. And it was a really nice carbon fiber, uh, solid uh, digital caliper. I know plastic people are, you know, we don't recommend it, but this carbon fiber material felt really well crafted. So I give them credit on that. Um, <clears throat> a sound meter and also a scale and a digital thermometer. This is a non-contact. I love this little thing, $11.99. I believe they offer free shipping and you can go ahead and get temperatures. All right, folks, so this is your boy Chapo with Dope Got 3D, recommending watch as many videos as you can to learn how to do a V-Ref, is where you're basically adjusting voltage on the machine. Disclaimer, if you've never done this before, please be very, very careful. You're gonna be messing with electrical current. If you have an electrical friend or an electrician friend, Ask them for help if you can. If not, watch a bazillion hours of videos, join groups, ask questions, and wait for good answers. And take your time on everything that you do. And it's your boy Chapo with Dope God 3D, recommending you guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And remember, there's only one love.